Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you the Explorer license, which is different than the Creator license. Most of you have the Creator license, but there's also an option to have an Explorer license that people can continue to manipulate the data. This is the Tableau online view. When you're on the Explorer option here, you've got number of projects at the top level folder. Total all projects, that's the number of uh, folders under that. Workbooks you're familiar with, views, those are worksheets and pages. Uh, and then all data sources. This is the creator publishes data sources to this all data sources. And then the explorer can go and access that. So right now, all there is is the superstore data. What I did, I'm going to come under all workbooks. And I'm going to select this option here. This was a workbook that I created. And what you do is you click on here again, pulls it up like you would any other uh, review of a dashboard. Now when you sit, hit edit, now the first thing you should notice is that there is a, the data source or data page is missing. The Explorer cannot add, can't do joins or blends, uh, so that all has to be done by the creator. You can only work with existing data sources. Let's go to one of these sheets. The other thing that I noticed right off is you do not have any worksheet actions. You don't have any dashboard actions either. So that is that can be a big uh, deal. But it does have the option to use this as a filter. So if you select it on the filter, you can still select and filter all of the data. So you're not completely left without any interaction. You can still filter. This is going to be filtering by consumer. And now the other thing that I noticed is that you cannot create sets. If you wanted to come here, there's no option to create sets. You can create a parameter, which is good, but there's no option to create sets. And when you come down, sorry, when you come down here to the measures, you can create bins, which is good. But when you come to, it doesn't have the default properties, which is a bit of a, can be a bit of a hassle. So those all have to be created in Explorer. Another thing that I notice is on the scatter plot, you can't change the shapes. I'm left clicking there, left clicking on the shapes. There's no place to change the shapes. You pull the category off and you drop the category on, or we'll just drop whatever on there actually. Where's the category? I don't know where the category is. Here it is. Grab the category, drop that on shapes, and it gives you a default shape. That can be a big deal to me. Another thing that I noticed on your line charts here for day, it does not have the option to show missing data. That can be a big deal, especially if you're trying to do some of those data densification techniques for the more complex visualizations. So that's something to be aware of. That will need to be done in the creator role. Finally, to publish a sheet, you right click on the tab and you select publish which sheets you want to have published. In this case here, I have just the dashboard is selected. You just left click that and turn it off or turn it on. And that's how you'll when you save it, that's the sheets that will show up on the Explorer roll. There you go. Quick overview. I'm sure there'll be other things as I get into this more that I find that I'm missing and want. But please leave your comments. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Check out my Patreon account. And enjoy.